what these cooling towers do is it has the closed loop, like the pipes I showed you going through the hall. When it picks up the heat from the heat transfer in the cooling season, it brings it out and it pumps it through these two big lines. And that just goes through in those two center sections. There's a set of coils that runs through. So it pumps that from that closed loop through and it's picked up the heat. And it's by means of getting rid of that heat, this other line comes from the pump. It pumps cool water up out of the sump. There's a sump in the bottom that holds water. It pumps it up, pumps it into that distribution chamber I was telling you about. It sprays it out into a fine mist, which trickles down over those closed loops. And that and there's fans, the big fans here. There's louvers on the top that opens up. These fans blow air up across with that water coming through them, and that's the heat transfer. So that's what gets your loop temperature back down and keeps it at a, a temperature that it can pick up the heat out of the lines with. Um, this line coming off the pump in the center is where it's leaking. That's where it goes into the unit. It's actually leaking inside into the distribution block. Bottom. And, and we have tried, we've cleaned that up, we've buffed it. We did have it at one time, almost stopped, but that's not a fix. That was a, that's a band-aid. That was, please, don't leak in the yeah. But, uh, like I said, I could probably go in and turn the pump on the hand and show you, but what would happen is, well, you can see, this is from all the water leaks. This is why we have this growing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it leaks quite a bit of water during the day. Can we take a quick peek inside? I know that there was a project to shore up the floors a few years ago. Do you, do you know about that? 